my mom, Rini Herschler, was a lot of fun. She was the best mom that I think uh, kids could have. Kristen Gilhool and Mark Herschler inherited a lot from their mother. Bright smiles, a love of life, and a heightened risk for several fatal diseases. My mom was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1994. In 2008, she found out that she had ovarian cancer as well. Rainey also had skin cancer. She insisted her children be tested to see if they had inherited the mutated BRCA2 gene from her. Erin Sutcliffe is a genetic counselor at Lancaster General Health. The BRCA2 gene is actually, when working properly, its job is to prevent a tumor from overgrowing or becoming a malignant cell, which would lead to a cancer. When you inherit a mutation in the BRCA2 gene, that's when it doesn't work properly and you're more likely to get a cancer because your cell growth regulation is not functioning as it should. It's usually a blood draw. Sometimes a saliva sample can be used as well, where they can isolate the DNA from your saliva or your blood sample, and they can, I guess, essentially look for spelling mistakes in a gene to see if there was an abnormal gene present at birth, which would have led to the genetic or inherited condition. Kristen and Mark both tested positive for the mutated BRCA2 gene, putting them and their children at greater risk of breast, ovarian, and prostate cancer. When I found out that I was positive for the gene, I went and I had my ovaries removed, as well as my, um, my uterus and everything. I um, opted to keep my breasts, and I go every six months for an MRI and then a mammogram, because I'm going to hopefully get it early enough that I will then um, decide if I'm going to have my breasts removed. I actually now have to get screened more than the average person for breast cancer for prostate, and they're also looking at skin cancer as well. Rainey Herschler passed away in March 2011, leaving her family with something more precious than memories. My mom saved my life and possibly the lives of my children and my grandchildren. I can only say to my mom, thank you, and I'm very lucky.